Well, first of all, we're just happy to see you. Can you just tell us a little bit about what the last few weeks have been like for you and your family? The last few weeks? Um, you mean the last few months? Whatever, yeah. Last start, few wherever weeks you want to been... start. You could start when you were born if you'd like. <laughs> hey, life is good. Um, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Um, I'm healthy and health is wealth, and I have that. I'm very fortunate. You know, God was with me about a month ago, and he got me through the uh, scariest night of my life. And we, we came through with my mom and dad still alive. And uh, I didn't quite have enough in me to uh, get my dog Hammer, but uh, he, he, he'll always be with me the rest of my life. He he meant the world to me, my first dog ever. And until you have a dog, you don't get it. And I didn't get it until I got one. So, you know, he's, I got three daughters and uh, Hammer was my, my son. So he woke me and he's a hero. And uh, UFC 300. Uh, I've been asking for tickets for this for a long time. And then uh, uh, Dana White and UFC came through and I'm so excited to be here. The best card ever put together. And there's 300,000 bonus on the line. These guys are gonna turn it up. I can't wait to get out there and be, be ringside and watch these guys go at it. And then the icing on the cake, my daughters are still here. My daughters are here with me and they mean the world to me. Um, Skylar, my, Skylar Constance Coleman, she's home, but one day she'll be here with me, and then uh, I get to wrap that belt around the winner of two bad mother freakers, uh, Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. They epitomize what a bad mother freaker is. So it's gonna be violent, it's gonna be a war, it's gonna be a night of fun. The greatest sport ever assembled, mixed martial arts, and I'm proud to be a part of it and be here today. Were you surprised um, with the reception that you got from the MMA community after everything happened? Did you Were you surprised at the way that everybody kind of rallied around you and your family? Um, yeah, when I, when I woke up and, and, and came through and started talking to my family, my daughters were right there at bedside with me the whole time. You know, I just thought I was waking up and you know, it's gonna be a little family thing and we'll get through it. And then uh, they, they quickly let me know uh, how much love and support that I had, not just from my close fans, but just from fans, not just in America, all around the world, the whole country stepped up and, and, and showed me, you know, love. And, and they were worried about me, concerned and as a human being, how can that help me? How can that not make me be happy and feel good about myself that I am? You know, you already mentioned the BMF uh, fight. Do you, how do you see that fight going? Do you have a favorite? Or are you willing to kind of say who you think might win that fight? Uh, I, I, I love both these guys. I'll make my prediction. <laughs> Uh, when they get in that cage and I see them eyeball each other up, that'll be a big difference. Uh, uh, you know, Justin Gaethje can knock you out at any time. Everybody knows that. But Max Holloway is the best boxer in the world. And we're going to see which one of these guys. I know they both put in the training camp because they've been around forever. They, they know not to miss a day. But we'll see which one of them can step up and rise to the occasion tonight. And that's what matters. Who's who's going to mentally be there and, and take this fight? There's been a little bit of talk about potentially um, letting the women fight for a BMF title. Is there anybody that you think female that could that's already kind of a BMF? Mm, I had to think about it, but we certainly, we definitely need a BMF, and uh, they'll they'll let themselves be known who it is. Bring back. Uh, 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 I don't know. Give me a couple. Who, who do you think there? 
Oh gosh, it's hard. Give I me mean, one. Joanna would be the first person I would think of, but she's. Oh bad. yeah, Joanna. She come out of retirement. Joanna would be the perfect BMF. Started off. Who wants Joanna? She'll come out of retirement for that bet. I think so too. And last question for me. Uh, looking back at all the years of the UFC, is it is there a moment that you think? it made you a fan of the UFC? Maybe not something that you yourself did, but something you watched that you saw that just made you smile. No, I've been a fan since uh, UFC won the very first fight, the whole broadcast. It was it was a beautiful thing to me that night and that day. And then I fought in UFC 10. I remember walking out of the cage after UFC 10 and thinking to myself, this is going to be the biggest and greatest sport in the world. And I'm a big fan of the NFL and, and NBA and Major League Baseball, but this is going to overtake it all because it's world. Everybody loves fighting. The whole world loves fighting, and uh, it has. I'm not surprised, especially when you got Dana White and the team that he put around him running this ship. They're killing it, and I, I just expect it to get better and better every 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 time, every every year. Mark, in the front right here. Um, this was really Justin and Max's idea together, kind of, to have you wrap the, the BMF title around the winner. I guess at one point from hearing about that to it becoming a reality, did you think this would actually happen after the first time you had heard about their idea? I just had hope. Uh, thank you, Max Holloway, for uh, you know getting this all started. Uh, a huge fan and friend of him. And uh, it just melted my heart hearing him say that. And, and then... Gaethje uh, agreeing with it and okay in it. I got the ball rolling, and then the, then the fans got aboard, and they asked for it and called for it, and uh, that's the only reason I'm here today. So I'm grateful for Max and Justin asking for it, and the fans, uh, you bringing this to fruitation. Mark, over here. Mark, over here. Um, so I just preface this, thank God that for your health and thank God that you woke up and everything. But when was the moment that you realized that you weren't just a hero, not just in the MMA and wrestling community, but you're now a hero all over the world? When was the uh, time that you realized that when you woke up and who was the person that uh, made you uh, aware of what was going on internationally and what was going on in the news? Uh, I don't know if there was a, a moment. It's still... It still hasn't really set in, and uh, I'm not comfortable being called a hero. Uh, I just did what I think anybody would have did, and uh, I'm, I am proud of myself, but my daughters were bedside with me the whole time, and it, it was a close call. Yeah. not going to lie. I was scared. I got through it. And it was a close call. And then when I finally did open my eyes a couple of days later, and my, my daughters, I got to hug them and, and show my rejoice for just being here and being alive. You know, I always say tomorrow's not promised, but uh, it has a new meaning to me now. It's, it's so true. And I, God was with me that night, and I'm, I'm blessed to be here. And uh, it... it and, and I'm a grateful for the, all the love and support. You, the fans and everybody that stepped up and helped me out, you made this so much easier. And a lot of good things are going to happen from this. And it's because of you that uh, I recovered so fast. And uh, thank you. And we're up to uh, UFC 300. How does it feel that you building the sport to what it is today, now we're at 300 events. How does that feel uh, being at the, uh, the premier event at the sport that you helped build? Man, I'm proud to be at the beginning, UFC 10, but uh, I wanted to stick around a long time. I wanted to be part of when it, when it became something a little bigger, so that's why I hung around till. UFC 100, so I don't consider myself just the old uh, iceberg. Just uh, I, I made it to the middle, and now watching it grow and grow, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be part of this sport. Am I cutting out here? Yeah. No. Just, just proud to be part of this whole organization, and, and, and let's keep going. Let's, let's keep getting better and better. The athletes get better, and I think we're just going to continue to climb. 
And one last question for me, obviously from your, your heroics and throughout your entire career, you proved, you proved that you're one of the baddest mofos on the planet, but when are you going to get back in the cage? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Yes, sir. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to do something. I don't know what and I don't know when, but uh, I, I went 12 years without working out after my last fight. You know, it was a rough 12 years. Um, Drank quite a bit, was an alcoholic. I got, uh, I'm proud to say I got three years sober now. That's the only reason any of this was possible because I, I humbled myself and I checked into rehab. I learned how to live life sober and uh, it's the greatest thing I've ever done. And if anybody's out there struggling mentally or with alcoholism, you can't do it alone. Reach out, get some help. It'll change your life for the better. And it's not easy, but it sure is worth it. Never call out more. I uh, never, uh, yeah, congratulations, by the way. Never bet the house against ne the hammer, right? Never bet the house against the hammer. No, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> never. I'm, I'm, I'll let you know when I'm finished. Hey, Mark, how's it going? So your dog was the hero here, obviously, besides yourself. When you got him, did people warn you about the breed? It's a dangerous breed and all that? It doesn't. Nobody warned me, but if they did, you think I would have cared? Uh, you know, no, he's a, he was the, the, the kindest, gentlest, loving dog I've ever seen. But sure, he had a big bite. But, uh, I mean, there's risk in life, but... I don't think about that very much, and I don't really have too much to say about that. He, he was fine with me. Good. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.